what's going on jet pilots i have the banana hobby edf and turbine test stand i'm gonna put it together and show you how it goes together and how it works and i'll give you the features of it while i put it together the turbine test stand on its own is designed for uh 64 millimeter all the way up to um 120 millimeter fans or turbine now if you need to test a bigger one what you would do is you would add these adapters or spacers on the side right here to make it wider and then you can go up to 160 millimeters or 6.2 inches um, here I'm just assembling the sides real quick it is two uh, bolts per side on the side frames and again I'm using the supplied Allen wrenches to put it together one side is in I'm doing the other one and uh, the only thing you need to worry about when you're putting it together is that the direction that the fan or turbine is going to face, um, that the thrust is pushing forward to where the, where the arrow is. So the back of the tailpipe would be on the back end over here. The actual scale included with the kit uh, requires two uh, AA batteries, excuse me, AAA batteries to be installed. Uh, again, since I already used this one, um, they're already installed right here. The scale can go all the way to uh, 45 kg or kilos, and then it does measure in um, in, in pounds, uh, gins, ounces, and kilos or kg. Uh, since I'm in the U.S. and I'm using it for to test turbines, I'm going to test it on pounds. So the basic structure is done. This is the sliders for whatever you're going to mount to the turbine or uh, EDF. And it has different size holes on it. They're already tapped. And you can use the included screws to mount whatever you're going to test on it. So it just depends whether you need a heavy duty screw or a minor one. It looks like a 440 more or less. It's metric brand, but um, I'm just guessing it's a 440. So let me go ahead and install the top side. The sliders, as I call them. So this is the basic assembly of the turbine and EDF test stand. What you want to do here is you can adjust depending on the, the thickness of your uh, turbine or EDF. So I don't tighten them down all the way. I want them to be able to slide back and forth to be able to adjust to whatever length I, um, I need them or whatever width, excuse me. So then you can slide them back and forth uh, and then mount your, your turbine or EDF as mentioned. Uh, there are three ways to uh, to mount an EDF or turbine. Uh, the actual clamp style, it does have a, like a little ledge on there. So you would put it towards the front. So then um, whatever EDF or turbine uh, you pop mount in there, it will catch on there. Now, depending on the, on the strap or the turbine um, mounting preference, if the, if the engine mounts on the turbine is very, very thin, I do not suggest you use the, the, this as a strap. What you want to do is actually put it where you have the screws going through it and i'm going to show you there's different ways like I, i'm going to show you uh, the the clamping method and i'm going to show you just a direct bolt on now i don't suggest that you actually clamp a turbine down depending on the thrust it will not stay there so i'm just showing you uh, one of the ways that you can mount it if you wanted to so there's a clamp style and again you want the the ledge to be towards the front so whatever you catch on there, uh, whatever turbine or EDF you catch on there, it does um, it does stop it from going forward. What I am going to mount in here today is a brand new turbine. I just took it out of the box right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the sliders to where the turbine is actually more or less uh, centered. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down um, and mount my turbine in there. Now, right now, if you notice, I actually have the turbine in it mounted backwards. But I'm just doing it so I can set the width for the sliders. So, if you recall, I, I explained that there's different mounting methods for it. And uh, you can use the strap or... Uh, 
or the actual direct bolt-on. Here we're getting, since it's a turbine and we, it's going to produce a lot of thrust, we're going to go with a direct bolt-on method. So we're going to go ahead and actually put two screws through the turbine uh, engine stand.